Hello lovely people, welcome to my channel, it's Hila here, Saturday Night Stitch and thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. Today's video is a fabric haul video. So these are the fabrics that I've actually bought mostly during January. I sort of started off the first two weeks of January, I was just a little bit blah, um, didn't really have a strong idea of what it is I was doing. But then I suddenly got like uh, filled with a lot of sewing inspiration and I ended up having three packages by the time we got to the beginning of February. So I'm going to show you this, but what's quite exciting about this is that these are actually really incredibly well thought out fabric purchases. Over the last few months, ever since having my color analysis done last summer, I've been doing a lot more dabbling in style and capsule wardrobes. And, you know, I even went to the extent of getting a style analysis done, but that's another story for another video. So I'm thinking about my spring and summer wardrobe, capsule wardrobe already. And some of this is what has come out of that. And it's a combination of the color analysis that I've had done, as well as the deep diving into style and capsule wardrobes that I've been doing over the last um, several months. And that's just so that I can build a curated wardrobe. I'm really excited about taking my sewing to that next stage where it feeds beautifully into style, into fashion, and into how I want to express myself on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so we're going to get started with <laughs> silk. Now, I love sewing with silk. And um, Minerva had a Liberty uh, 20% off sale. So I bought the Minerva Craft Club membership. So I've got a Craft Club membership, which means I also get an extra 10% whenever they've got the 10% sale. So it came up to 20% uh, off. And I decided to buy this. By the way, these are not Minerva makes. These, these are just sort of like me going for my own thing. And um, I wanted to, for, okay, let me show it to you first and then I'll explain the rationale for it. But it is a Kensington silk crepe de chine. And it is so beautiful. Now, I have worked with Liberty Silks before and I love them. And the beauty about working with Liberty Silk is when you take your time with it, is that you know you're making something that is possibly going to last you a lifetime, especially when you've got your classic Liberty print and you make a classic silhouette. You know, avoid making trendy style things when you're working with silk. Personally, I think silk is something that you would be able to, you know, pass on. Um, to your children eventually because this um, is to make just a simple cami top and I wanted it to be in an accent color a statement color now the colorways that they have with these Liberty silks they've got quite a lot I think it's close to 14 14 different colorways but none of them were in the red that I have chosen for my spring um, capsule. But I thought that this one would be a nice one. They had a pink, but I thought that the pink was a little bit too muted. I, I, I wanted like a, sh a, a shocking pink, but they didn't have it in the shocking pink. It was the water lily, which was just a little bit more muted. And for my coloring, I'm finding that I am most happiest when I do have like that bold high saturated high chroma color so this one was a decent size so it's a little bit outside of the capsule wardrobe but because I'm making a cami top out of it uh, using grass um, I can't remember the name of it but they've got a lovely cami top pattern which has got a bit of shaping with some bust dust and I can make that top with um, half a meter of fabric and so I got a half a meter of this to make this lovely silk um, cami top which I see myself wearing with jeans and with skirts and it would just be something lovely just to add the accent color just the pop of color um, that I'm finding I absolutely love so I picked this up on the 20% off Liberty sale and very <laughs> I mean, you can't go wrong with Liberty Silk. I am looking forward to actually sewing it up. The one thing that I do need to source, though, is um, I need to get this, I think it's called Sheer Weight, Sheer Weight, super, super lightweight interfacing um, to use because the pattern that I do use has got like a facing piece at the front. But this is within my colors because I was like going through my color wallet and it's just like, oh, squee. Um, so... This is the one that I picked up um, during the sale. And the idea is that this is a basic. So this will be a basic that, you know, basically gets worn 
a lot, which is why it's called the basic. <laughs> and then the next thing that I got um, was a game from Minerva, and they had a sale um, on some fabrics. No, your VIP sale, that's it. So they had the Craft Club VIP sale. And again, it's if, if you've got the Craft Club membership, you get an extra 10% off. And, and I have that, and so I ordered some stuff. And um, this three items, right? The first, I'm going to show you the best one first, the most squeezed one, is an art gallery fabric. It's a cotton poplin, right? And this is going to be my version of the classic white shirt, except for it's got really beautiful watermelon slices with little spots of black seeds. And I really, really love this fabric. This has been in my save for quite a while now. And so when it came up on the sale, I decided I'm actually going to buy this and finally realize that dream of a white shirt but it's actually melons on it and it's going to be so perfect for summer i haven't yet decided on the pattern that i'm going to use i want something with a slightly relaxed fit but still relatively close to the body no so not super loose super baggy or anything like that but i'm so excited and it is so beautiful it's a really crisp ice white which fits in with my colors and even this the pink of the watermelons is within my colors as is the green there is no warmth whatsoever to these colors and basically within my colors uh, basically zero warmth is good for me so yeah i'm so loving <laughs> this watermelons um fabric yeah so the trick is to make sure that my girls don't see it before I sew something for myself because I know that they're going to want that but in order to preempt that I also got this poplin uh, this cotton poplin fabric I'm just going to put that one over there I got this cotton poplin fabric and I was really surprised at what a great bargain this was because this was under it came out to under five pounds per meter with the 20% discount um, that I got. And it's really quite lovely. So it's got a very retro vintage vibe to it. It's a cherry print. Now the white is not quite as crisp white as this, you know, but it is still a, um, a, a white. It's like a, an off white, a slight off white, but it's got really good drape. So here, as you can see, and I have to admit, even though initially I looked at this for the girls, I actually realized that I could also make a top out of this. Like, you know, those 50 style tops that have cutaway arms and they've got like the long pointy collar and it's like a tie top. I thought that this would work really well for it. And best of all, they had it in two colorways. They also had it in the navy. And I couldn't, I couldn't resist for the life of me given the fact that with the discount, it was coming up to a slightly um, lower price, I could not resist getting the navy colorway as well. And the idea behind this is that I think I would love to make a dress that is the bodice will be this and the top will be that, you know, work on segmentation and just adding animation in that way. So very excited. And I got, I think I got two meters of that and I think I got um, three or four meters of that. And I got two meters off the watermelon thing because I wanted to have the flexibility with the watermelons to either make a long sleeve or a short sleeve, or even if in the options that I decided I wanted to make a shirt dress, which is quite unlikely. But yeah, and for the girls um, with the navy one, I got more of it because I decided I'm going to make them uh, some dresses and use the same pattern that I used for the strawberry dresses that I made last year, which they have absolutely loved. And they have they've just worn those dresses to death. And because they're shooting up so fast, one of the things that I did with the hem was that I did a double folded hem. You know, when you take a a big piece of fabric and then you fold it under to create a hemband. And so I actually had to unpick it and cut it and fold it out so that it's just one because they're growing um, so tall. And it still fits them around the bust, which I credit to the Autobri uh, sizing system. And they love it. They, they've, even over winter, they've been layering the dress over thermals and stuff like that. So I think that this will be a really nice addition to that. I just have to retrace it in the next size up for them. And I thought that this one, uh, the leftover from making myself a top, I would make them just like some cute little sleeveless um, tops to wear over summer. So as you can see, there's a theme of the red navy and white which are the colors that i really want to play around with with the capsule um 
with the capsule wardrobe um, over spring summer. And so the next thing was from Pounds Fabrics because I signed up to the newsletter and they do send out, um, you know, newsletter things. And basically, I got some more French terry in dark red. And that's because I made myself a jumper using the French terry from, and I used a pattern from Better 12 2021, 20, uh, I believe. It was this really a lovely jumper with a grown on neckline. Right. But after wearing it for um, a couple of times, I didn't quite like its overly relaxed look because it would um, because it doesn't have a separate neck. It's just sort of a grown on neckline. And my shoulders have gotten a little bit broader because I never miss shoulder day at the gym. You can't see it now because it's all layered up, but I've been working out and <laughs> there's been some changes here. So my shoulders are just a little bit broader uh, than they were before. And it tends to sort of like um, crunch up, scrunchy up, because ideally I would need to make it in another size up or do a broad shoulder adjustment um, on it. But my son actually tried it on, my um, 12, 13 year old son, he tried it on and it fit him, no, he's 12. And it fit him perfectly and he loved it and he was like, can I, can I have it? And I was like, yeah, of course he can have it. So he's now started wearing it, but I still, I loved the color. So despite the fact that it wasn't sitting the way that I wanted it on me, I absolutely loved the color and I was wearing it with my blue jeans and I would put it on and when I would put a coat on my navy coat or my black coat, it just looked really nice having that pop of color. So I wanted more of that. So I went and I got the dark red, uh, but this time I'm going to use a different pattern to make the jumper and I'm going to try it with a raglan sleeve instead. And there's a grass, no, there's a bird pattern from, I think it's from 2016, which has got like some sailor buttons. That's the one that I'm going to use, but I want something that is, um, sort of like smart casual, but not rumply rumply. Um, yeah, so that's the story with that one. And then they also had some Ponte Roma in a navy and white stripe. And I wanted this, uh, this, this is so Breton. I've always had a thing for Breton tops. And so I thought oh, I'll get some of this for um, Breton tops. And also to make my girls some really lovely uh, little dresses, uh, very much in sort of like a French vein um, of fashion, because they're quite, they're quite fashionable young ladies now these days. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and I got, I think I got about five meters of this. Why? Because I've come to the realization that a stripe is a very classic, a stripe top is a very classic, useful sort of thing to have um, in the wardrobe. And I certainly am missing that. And when I've had a stripe top, I've enjoyed having a stripe top. And I know that the kids would love this anyway. And it's a Ponte Roma. It's a really lovely, lovely quality um, fabric. And so I picked that up from uh, Pounds Fabrics when they were having the sale. And so those are the fabrics that I have. And ever since last year, when I actually, for the very first time, started preparing my sewing plans before the season actually hit, I was quite impressed with how that worked out. And I'm actually carrying it on this year. So I'm not doing um, any more winter sewing. I'm working towards preparing for the spring summer uh, sewing. And I really, really love that. Uh, so while we're here in the sewing cave, I'm just going to add a little segment to the fabric holes called Where's Hila At? And this refers to not where I'm at geographically, but what I'm actually doing within my sewing cave. Um, and at the moment, I am currently working on an avid seamstress, uh, the sundress, avid seamstress, the sundress. Uh, and I'm at the point where I'm sewing up the bodice. This is an art gallery fabric that I am smitten, absolutely smitten with. And in fact, this is what inspired the desire for more stripes because I just love the painterly stripe and with the painterly flowers on here. I've just gotten to the point where um, I'm doing the bodice, uh, the straps for the bodice. And the, this is going to be a summer dress, basically. This is going to be my summer dress that I'll just be wearing all the time. I have made an avid seamstress sundress before, and I love, I wear that to bits. In fact, if you watch my tutorials, if you sort of like watch the playlist of my uh, Sew With Me tutorials, the ones that are in summer, you will almost always see 
that avid seamstress. And that one is in an art gallery. It's, I think it's called Paparones or Scopulus, but it's got stripes and splodges as well. But because it's been worn so much and it's been washed so much, it is beginning to, you know, to just lose just a little bit of the vibrancy um, over the last four years that I have been wearing it. So I thought a nice replacement would come in and this one is coming along so beautifully. So much fun uh, going on here. And this is make number four this year. So another thing that I have done uh, this year, I started doing it last year, but I wasn't very consistent with it, was I've got a calendar here. Let's just show you. Right. So that's my birthday calendar. I love that. That's on February. And then I've got this calendar over there that I picked up from a pound shop for only a pound. And on the calendar, each time I finish making something, I will write down what I have made just so that I want to be able to see exactly what I am making. I like tracking things like that. And so this is actually make number four um, of the year. So I, I think I'm on a good roll and I'm enjoying it. I'm feeling very, very inspired and absolutely loving creating a uh, clothes that will go together in a wardrobe whereby the idea is that when I wake up in the morning I can be like which awesome outfit am I going to wear today because all of the clothes uh, sort of like go together so it's an interesting experiment and I hope that you've enjoyed the video and if you did please do hit the like button smash it in fact hit the like button smash it subscribe if you're not already subscribed and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much I really really do appreciate you uh, very quickly something that I've been meaning to say thank you so much to all of the people that have been buying me some coffees really really appreciate it uh, the money goes towards uh, things that I can buy to allow me to continue to make more content whether that's like replacing the tripod that was broken down and uh, getting better lighting so that I can record videos as and when rather than being at the mercy of the weather so I really do appreciate you so thank you so much and until I see you next time lovely people happy sewing and don't forget to check out the merch shop I've got um the mugs we've got pockets are everything happy sewing and better sewn than perfect if you just want a little bit of lift in your sewing room <laughs> until next time take care bye